أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajis wa daif wa miskin wa zalim wa jahal and but for the grace of Allah there is still in existence. If we don't understand the, the end we don't know the path. That's also for most important shaitan. One who doesn't know their end and last chapter can't write the book of their life correctly. So awliya come into our lives and teach us, no, I'll simplify for you, your last chapter is love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad Make sure you die with that love, that intercession to reach you, that ishq of Muhammad to be with you, to dress you, bless you. And it's the most important relationship that we can make on this earth. No other relationship can help to that degree. That love, that ishq is our line and cable to Divinely Presence of Allah So they taught us, that's your chapter, make sure that happens. So every subsequent chapter, if you wrote the last chapter then every chapter will make sense. Oh should I go buy a house in Las Vegas? Well that's not going to get you to the last chapter. Should I go out with friends to the wrong place? That definitely won't take you to that last chapter. So most of your life's questions will be answered. The shaykh is just here to teach you, not take your path. Is not here with a crystal ball to, to give you your answers, then what would be the purpose of your life and your testing? Teaches you with hikmah and says, the choice you're making doesn't seem to be too wise. Didn't you write your last chapter correctly? That you want to be with Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin, and Allah said, This is the best of company, this is with me. If you want to be with Allah, don't just say Allah. These are those Hizbu Shaitan people. But Allah clarifies for us, no, Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. So that your dunya validates and verifies where you're going to be in all. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. So this is our last chapter in life. When the believer writes his last chapter, he understands, I have to get to this reality and every chapter should have something about this last chapter if you write it well. In school they give you lessons on how to write. So continuously you have to write your plot so it matches the ending. So at every point in every chapter of my life there has to be about Prophet What am I doing for increasing my love and my ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad Am I moving more into the sunnah? or farther away than I'm, I left the last chapter. Don't look like the Romans but look like Sayyidina Muhammad Right, they shaved themselves naked, bare to resemble a woman. So it means every aspect of our life was to draw to that last chapter. And so that to keep the compass of where am I going? My shaykh gives teachings, 
and I understand my daily interaction what it should be. And if I feel I'm a little bit off in my choice or it's confusing, will this choice take me away from my last chapter? Then I email and validate and verify what's my understanding and it's a free choice, free world, free will. You hear again the advice and again the choice is up to you, the shaykh will never take the choice for you. It's not here to take your life and to play the game of your life but merely to advise so that you make the right choices. Now what's shaitan's plan and what he has written in his last chapter? Because we know our chapter but apparently people don't know shaitan's chapter. <laughs> shaitan's chapter is to, and these have to do with the two triangles of our existence. We'll go on my, because the audience online is the reverse. So when I point by this bird is the heart. So shaitan is going to bring me in my life, a foundation of my life is going to be based on making me ignorant, making me ignorant. If the foundation of the lower triangle, ignorance, what does it put into my heart? Ignorance puts anger in your heart. Ignorant people are very ang angry and we teach all the time but you really have to think the ana analogy of ignorance is a zulm, is darkness. The word for zulm, oppression and the word for darkness and night is the same. Why? Because darkness is an oppression because you can't see the light and you can't see where you're going. And if you hit your head a couple times in life you're going to be angry. Ignorant people hit their head and feet on everything. Right? They don't understand anything, they're missing everything, they missed the boat on everything. Ignorant people ran and listened to them, took a whole bunch of shots and started dying left and right. Now they're angry. Ignorant people thought that these people are flying to the moon, landing on the moon, going to the Mars, making bunny rabbits and saying this is, has a relationship to the Prophet of uh, Sayyidina Isa salam and bunny rabbits, they don't lay eggs and they go hunting for eggs. So ignorant people become angry. Then follow Santa Claus and he is made by Coca-Cola and say that this represents holiness. What holiness? This is created by Coca-Cola. Its design is red and white just like the Coca-Cola can. Oh, everything shaitan did is with a purpose. His purpose is to make people ignorant. Everything he propagates in the satanic hemisphere, because this is his new world, this is where he tried to redo everything. Its foundation is on ignorance and extreme jahiliya. All pagan beliefs and very vile and horrific pagan understandings and teach kids, put your tooth under, pillow money will come. Those were demons who were taking the teeth of creatures and these were offerings to give money so they wouldn't be killed. This is paganism and satanism. Again this is the foundation of ignorance. Then what happens when people understand they've been fed ignorance? They're very angry people, very angry people. So every last day's movies shows the power going off. This is an analogy Allah is showing, look if these people are in darkness, if the power goes off why do they start to butcher everybody, kill everybody, rampage on the streets? Now you see if they, if they think like the police are not around, the alarms are not working, they steal everything out of the store because they're ignorant and angry people. They don't have a consciousness, 
You don't need power to believe in Allah you don't need the electricity on, you don't steal, you don't harm, you don't kill, you don't do nothing because it's your soul that you're worried about. They don't seem to worry about a soul. Why? Because this is how shaitan has bred the situation. So it means we have to know shaitan's game, he's not happy when we teach about it. Their system is based on ignorance, makes fire in your heart, makes an anger in your heart. Ignorance and anger is fire, narani, fire because these are people of Jahannam. If they continue to follow shaitan, shaitan's purpose is he doesn't like Adam nor the children of Bani Adam so that to make them enter fire. He knows he's trying to throw them in the fire. So when we know shaitan's game is ignorance. It's going to make people angry from this ignorance and they become narani, very fiery. <coughs> Prophet came, king of all creation to bring the light and guidance upon the earth because they were in darkness, not Islam. They were in darkness and the, ma the mercy of Allah was to bring a light from the heavens. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكَ رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ I would not have sent but this earth was in need to come out of darkness and into the light. Islam comes and counters ignorance, right? You can't pull and you're not supposed to pull the fabric over Islam. Muslims maybe because they're playing with shaitan. Islam <coughs> It fights all ignorance, Qur'an fights all ignorance, the sunnah fights all ignorance. Muslim they may fall left and right because they're following shaitan but with this, this is not based on Muslims. This is based on Islam and Islam is based on Qur'an and Sayyidina Muhammad Sunnah the Nabi So Islam comes is the upper reality of the soul. Allah sent it upon this abode of ignorance playing the playground of shaitan. That now for this creation time to bring Islam because all the other religions became mushrik and they took a man to be a god. They're waiting for a man to be a god is a mushrik. So Islam has been the pure light, has always been. And the deen of Allah is Islam. So Islam is a pyramid that comes and knocks itself and it hits ignorance. So the basis of Islam is to conquer ignorance, so it hits it. If you follow Islam and fight the ignorance, in your heart will come the light of iman. And iman is opposite of anger. People whom have faith they don't enter to qadab, qadab is a kufr, it takes you out of belief. You can become angry and, and do something against Islamic law and harm somebody, rest of your life you have to repent. So the foundation Islam comes, brings all the guidance, the ishq and the love of Prophet and the truth. Allah says, is created in truth, my creation is created in truth. We don't lie to children about bunny rabbits and religion and eggs that are unrelated because Allah said, I created in truth. Nothing that you start with a lie will end in a truth. Anything you start with lying just ends worse because it's crooked. Hudan al muttaqeen What's the word for crookedness? La rabi la rayba fi. No crookedness. Why Allah kept saying that? Because now we live in a crooked world. Everything crooked and they say they're straight. I say, you don't look straight. You look really crooked. What you believe looks crooked and sounds crooked. So now we understand the, the motive. If you don't understand the motive, you don't understand the crime. 
Because people say, why, Sheikh? This why? Shaitan is very angry at Islam. He tried to build on ignorance, make people angry and keep them fiery. And the light of Islam comes and brings them guidance and knowledges. And in their heart begins the light of faith. And if they keep their Islam and keep their Iman, what happens? Maqam al-Ihsan in which they worship as if they see Allah means these are the stations of perfection. And if they don't see Allah the perfection is that they know Allah is always watching them. So the motive was ignorance. So then everything that came out in their histories and in their stories is his story. There's no history. It's in which border did you arrive in and that's his story. Because if you travel a little bit to the other border he has a different story of how the events took place. So when we understand the motive is to keep you ignorant. Our guidance is only from Qur'an and Sayyidina Muhammad is the only thing that going to correct our understanding and protect us against the abode of ignorance and misguidance. He said all of those subsequent events, the bunnies, the, the, the bearded people with Coca-Cola logos, everything that they've propagated was lies for the sake of ignorance. Now they came and they said, oh the earth is flat, the earth is flat. This is the master of ignorance. This is their PhD course of ignorance. Why? Because shaitan's purpose was what? To make the ignorance. If you propagate an earth that's flat and sciences that they can't understand and render to be bogus, then begin to tell people, this earth is flat so then we're just in a studio is what you say. Say, yeah. And the studio has a dome because if it's flat, where is the studio located? You said there's no heavens, there's no stars, there's no planets. So where is this studio located? Who made this flat studio? Because this is moving towards deep ignorance. And you say that the sun is a like an illusion, somebody's playing tricks with us and has like a flashlight up there in like a movie studio and then has another light pretending to be the moon. This is deception. So what are you truly saying then? This is against Allah Allah said, I created your creation in truth, la raybafi. No crookedness. Why would Allah make a crooked game against His creation? Why would Allah try to fool His creation? Ah, I put a fake sun. It's shaitan. So that He can pull people again in this immense ignorance because we thought we passed all of these. It now is resurfacing thanks to social media and uh, few clever scientists whom trying to propagate ignorance and because you ask yourself why would they do that, exactly what I told you why. Why those same scientists in universities propagate that you came from a baboon when they know that's not the truth because those are universities of ignorance. Its purpose is to dumb down people, not to raise them. Knowledge that not based on Allah glorifying Allah is the abode of ignorance. So many people enter into universities and lose all their faith. It's the abode of no faith. 
So those same people that you quote as scientists, they've taken their allegiance to shaitan. And the science that they propagate is against Allah Science is for the sake of glorifying Allah When only Allah would bring knowledges, it was SubhanAllah, look how Allah created all these things. It's like, like a hairline of difference. But when Satan puts his people, because they have tenure, they have degrees and they get that degree based on their belief in Darwinism and monkeyism. If for one moment you say, no I think there's a creator, you lose your tenure, you lose your degree and the ability to teach the higher courses at universities. So no, no it's a rigged system. So when those same no hard people, no connection with Divine people, of course they're going to propagate knowledges that again come towards ignorance. The desire is to put people towards ignorance, not towards righteousness, not towards faith. Everything they're going to teach in that, they're going to give sciences and, and dalils and proof because we're in the time of great deceit. But to know with faith Allah makes no deception. Allah doesn't make a fake sun and make us think it's a sun, make a fake moon and think it's a moon, make a fake earth and think it's a pan with a cover on top. And where is it flying? Nobody knows, maybe in a ship of an alien somewhere. It's a ridiculous theories. Why? To take people towards ignorance. Then they give sciences, water moving, water spinning, you feel like you're really on a globe and the water spinning and it doesn't fly off the edge. This is the azimat of Allah's power. These are sciences and realities that cannot be understood in their same logic. Then you're saying it's a flat earth, we walk to the edge and we fall. And planes would go off the edge and bounce because there's nothing outside of this globe and dome like a cover for the microwave you put on top of something. Everything is based on the reasons of ignorance and to keep people in a state of ignorance. That above every knower there's a knower and they know that through their sciences, the sciences are a collection of hypotheses until somebody can try to validate it and many times it's, what is it, disvalidated or unvalidated, proven to be wrong. It's just a series of guesses and this is all scientific history. It's not fact, the things that they present. And now they reach the point in the haqqaiqs that the physics of mankind and the science and understanding of mankind is only relative to their level of understanding. Ignorant men used to think there was nothing outside their village because they never got on a ship and travelled. That was their science. They thought this is the entirety of their world. They never went on a plane, they never went on a ship and they never travelled to other lands. So the sciences and the guesses you make are relevant to what you know in your environment. Now then they show on the television there are ships we don't know who made them, from what uh, group of creation made that maybe travel 2,000 miles an hour and turn left immediately, then turn right, then go up and then go down. None of which is in our physics. So anytime somebody tries to quote a science to us, relative to what? Relative to your understanding? Their understanding is like kindergarten and they want to say one plus one is the only math, the only logic available, it's no it's only logic available to you. There's infinite amount of science and physics relative to every environment. You think the physics of this earth is the same as the physics of the moon or of Mars or of Venus? based on its atmosphere, based on all the different conditions Allah gave. 
That's, that's the glory of Allah Nothing can be understood from Allah's creation. That you fly supersonic speeds and you never leave the atmosphere because Allah is moving the earth, expanding. These are from the azimat of Allah But when a people begin to leave faith and leave glorifying Allah they fall into the traps of shaitan trying to take them back towards ignorance. That's why in these last days they're going to send so many ridiculous, ridiculous understandings. Why? To make people ignorant. And as soon as they become ignorant they're going to become angry and then fiery. And that's all that shaitan wants is a fire nation. A nation based on people whom are extremely ignorant because you can tell them anything now and they've cut their ties to the Divine because how could you have a belief in Allah if you say the sun and the moon and there is no planets and all of it's fake. Sayyidina Yusuf's story all fake, all the surahs about the sun and the moon and the different stars fake and that Allah didn't create creation is fake, it didn't create it in truth is fake. So you can see this is a war against the Divine. This is shaitan's war that keep promoting ignorance and the people don't know that if they step two times into that they're going to fall in a hole. Just like when they enrolled in their universities, they say, oh I'm going for higher education, beware. It's like, student beware, you go into these courses and they start to push into your mind that don't talk about God here. We're scientists, what does that mean? And the, they graduate disenchanted or disassociated with the Divine. And the knowledges of awliyaullah can't be encompassed by these people. That Allah give to the believers yaqeen and certainty. That when they tafakkur and contemplate if they want to contemplate on the sun, Allah make the sun to appear to them and it teaches its reality to them, the moon to appear to them. But you can't explain to people who have uh, ignorance that Allah grants His servants yaqeen and certainty. Allah describes to us the miraj of Sayyidina Ibrahim salam In Qur'an He came upon the stars. What do you mean? He hit the ceiling of a dome? It's fake? No, he went into the association of the Najm and what the stars represent. He went into the association of the moon. Means Allah brought for him the reality of the moon because he was pondering that, what's Allah What is the Divine Power? And then he saw it set, means he witnessed the entire movement of that reality. He came upon Ayatul Akbar. So the, the sun and our Najm has a deep reality, that's why we teach rising sun of the west. The sun and the moon and the earth are deep realities for ourselves. There's nothing fake about it. We have a sun within our being, is our heart. We have a moon in our being which is our head and Allah gave to us that, open your galaxy and I'll open my galaxy for you to manage it. If you can manage yours I'll give you to manage mine. And that's wilayat, that they're entered now into the management of the heavens because you could manage yourself. Well shaitan knows that, he doesn't want these managers. So let me keep you far from managing anything and make you so ignorant that you went back like 500 years. With all this television, all these satellites, all of this, you're not believing the, the earth is round? And all these realities and the reality of Holy Qur'an? So this is, this is the immensity of the ignorance of why we call dajjal deceit. For other nations is Antichrist, we have nothing to do with Antichrist we already accept Sayyidina Isa salam. We're not waiting for Sayyidina Isa salam. We, we already accepted Sayyidina Isa He has a second coming. 
But what Prophet wanted for his nation is be careful of a great deceit and the deceitful one whom is the Imam of all of these, who's publishing all of these and promoting all of these so that to keep people and to lose their faith, lose their connection, lose their light. And as a result they enter into ignorance, anger and fire. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with the immensity of the birth of light and the Milada Nabi And inshaAllah we talk tomorrow night on the realities of Surah An-Nam and 27 and entering into that light and entering into the immensity of that reality. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.